Life didn't stop after the Cambrian explosion. But the universe wasn't done testing it. From 1050 to 1150 on Earth's 24-hour clock, five cataclysmic events reshaped the planet. Five mass extinctions. Each one nearly erased everything. And each one made what survived stronger. <laughs> five times? You'd think nature would learn to chill. <laughs> Apparently not. The first extinction hit when Earth suddenly froze again. Half of all species vanished overnight. And the survivors? They adapted. The second extinction wiped out almost all marine life. But fish developed lungs and crawled onto land, becoming the first amphibians. <laughs> so disaster literally pushed life out of the ocean. Exactly. Then came the third, the deadliest of all. Over 90% of marine life and 70% of land species, gone. But from that destruction rose two new players, dinosaurs and mammals. So when one world dies, another gets promoted. <laughs> That's one way to see it. The fourth extinction cleared the field again. But oddly, dinosaurs survived while their rivals perished. No one knows why. Maybe luck. Maybe something built into their biology. So Jurassic Park was basically a cosmic glitch? <laughs> Pretty much. And then came the fifth. 65 million years ago, a 10-kilometer asteroid slammed into Mexico. The impact vaporized continents, set forests ablaze, and filled the air with choking ash. When the dust settled, the dinosaurs were gone. And mammals inherited the Earth. Every ending just hands the world to the next generation. Yes. Extinction isn't nature's failure. It's her reset button. Every death rewrites the code of life. Until one day, that code produced us. So we're just the latest version of survival, not the final one. Exactly. And the next extinction engine might already be running. Tap subscribe. The full story's right here.